Hi everybody, it's February 6, 2018. I've been getting subscribers sending me the link to that PowerPoint uh, and people saying that Trump is going to take over 5G. Well, in the PowerPoint, it doesn't say anything about Trump. It is a proposal, I guess, uh, authored by a senior National Security Council official proposing that the government build the infrastructure, and then rent access to wireless carriers who would then provide it to their customers. It's a three-year plan. You know, when I read this PowerPoint, it reminded me of um, when last year the article started coming out out of Harvard, David Keith saying that he was going to begin geoengineering product, uh, projects and I think it was January 2018, uh, like geoengineering has not already begun. When I read this, a three-year plan for the government to build the infrastructure, the infrastructure's built. It's already rolled out in major cities. AT&T, Verizon, they've been rolling it out. So, maybe they want the American people to believe that 5G, it's coming. It's not here already. It's already in Phoenix. It's already in Atlanta. Uh, well, I've posted videos on this and I've read off the city. So, um, and it's only being rolled out faster and faster. So, um, I don't understand why people are so alarmed. Maybe, I, I think a lot of us are on different pages and we are at different stages of our awakening. This awake word, that's a misnomer. It's an awakening. And based on how much research that you have done regarding what is taking place, well, that will determine where you are in your awakening. And I, I read articles sometimes and I think, wow, either we live in a parallel universe or uh, the person writing the article is um, at a different stage. I don't know. But the infrastructure, perhaps this is a way for our government to pay AT&T and Verizon back for the infrastructure that they have already built and rolled out. We're not, we are not the United States of America as we knew it. That's gone. It's gone. We are now living and we have been living in a fascist country. When corporations merge with government, that means you live in a fascist country. And you cannot separate out those telecommunication companies from our government. You cannot think that this internet is not our government. This is our government. Facebook, Google, YouTube, it is the government. National intelligence agencies funded this. So, and uh, I read like this. In Fortune, they quoted from this PowerPoint. The network would make it possible to fight back against those who steal intellectual property and private data. They have already the capability of doing that. 5G is not going to be any different from the technology that they already have. And they have already been stealing private data. It will so uh, it will allow the government to fight back against those who sow division and obscure bad behavior. Does that mean that 5G is somehow going to target those in Washington, D.C. that sow division? No. The person who wrote this article says that it sounds an awful like, a lot like they will be planning to target political dissidents. They've already been doing that. That 
has already been going on for a long time. So 5G is not going to be what 5G is going to do is going to bring in the Internet of Things, allowing them to have this millimeter wave that will travel at very rapid speeds so that they can collect all of the data from all of the sensors that will be the Internet of Things. And it will allow them to establish artificial intelligence that is already operating but perhaps not operating the way they intended to operate and the PowerPoint even said that the government by taking over 5G it will allow the US to avoid losing the AI arms race to China. I I don't I don't know about you guys, but I am completely out of the matrix. And I think I have a pretty good handle on reality. And that's only based on how much research I've done. Okay, so I am not saying that I know everything that is going on, nor am I saying that I am 100% right. But my take on what on, on the country that we live in today and all of this um, fighting China, fighting Russia, they're all working towards a new world order. All of what we hear from mainstream media and our government officials and these trade wars with China and, and other countries and these cyber threats that we're getting from China and we blame China and we blame other countries on um, it, hacking our uh, country. No! It's a show. It allows the American people to believe that they actually have an independent country. and allows them, I guess, to believe that they actually have a government. Understand our government is a corporation. The telecommunications industry um, is probably really happy about this because if Americans have just missed all of the mainstream media reporting on 5G already being rolled out, which is very possible, then they're just going to be looking to get more of your money. Now, the telecommunications industry, every single time they update something or um, they, they have to install different kinds of infrastructure, like the 5G cells, the antennas, they charge you. You pay for it. They don't pay for it. And I could see that our government will say, okay, we've got to take over 5G and you are going to be paying for it through your tax dollars because it's a national security priority, which Trump has said. So it's going to be like a double payment to the tele telecommunications industry. They are ripping us off every single time we turn around, we take a step, we breathe, toxic air. Um, but here in this article they say China whose complete elimination of privacy standards has allowed the government to dig through any citizens data anytime they want. Are we any different? Do you really think that we're any different? They have been doing this for years. Our privacy is gone. We don't have any privacy. We know that they have back doors into every computer. We know that Microsoft, we know that Google, we know Facebook, we know that telecommunications industry, Verizon, AT&T, have been handing over our data to the government. We know that we are being tracked everywhere we go. We know we have appliances with sensors in them now. 
We know that our TVs are watching us as we watch them, or the TV. Um, you've got, you have technology that allows our government to listen to you in your own home. That is already happening. And American people don't seem to mind. They buy Alexa and they put it in their home and they think, wow, this is great. I can just ask Alexa anything. And I can just tell Alexa, oh, add tomatoes to my shopping list. Well, guess what? Everything that you say to Alexa is being collected and stored. And Alexa, you don't have to talk to her for her to record every conversation in your home. So why are people getting alarmed about this? I'm alarmed because I'm sensitive to the frequencies and I know that I'm already living hell because of the frequencies. 5G is just going to make it really, uh, I, well, what, what people really need to be concerned about is 5G, they already have the capability of collecting all of your data, everything that you do on the internet, everything that you do on the smartphone, everything that you say. You think your smartphone is off? It's not off. It's not off. A lot of people believe that they turn their smartphone or iPhone off and then the government can't track them. The GPS is still working. They have an on and off switch so that you think it's off. It's not off. It's still on. A lot of people think, you know, turning off your um, phone, then you won't have frequencies being emitted. They can still, they can turn on your phone. This is the world that we're living in. We're living in China. We just, we have an awful lot of Americans who still think that they're not. Our, ch our country has radically changed and our government is behind all of it. Law enforcement can use smart meter parking apps to spy on everyone. So people now are using smart, uh, smart parking, park mobile, street line, park me, park smarter. And the agreements that you sign for these apps, personal information consisting of at a minimum, your name, email address, mobile phone number, your license tag, your where you are, payment method, payment information, username and passwords, all collected and stored. But once you use that app, then they collect more information like your mailing address, billing address, transaction data, GPS data, information that you voluntarily provide, like user content information received from your credit card provider, digital wallet, or financial institution. You hand that over because you just love these apps. Uh, Smartline, that agreement that you sign, you are, you're literally giving them data and they can use as they so wish. The company for Streetline app reserves the right to disclose your personally identifiable information to others as we believe appropriate. Park Mobile, they will provide requested information to relevant authorities upon the request of such authorities. Do you understand that these are not private corporations that are developing all of these apps? These are the front they're the front companies for our government. I posted this video on Kafka Winston World. This is part two. I don't know where part one is. Uh, when Kafka Winston World went down, I lost a lot of videos. I reposted this from somebody else's channel that had reposted my video. But here is this video that I talk about how Google ain't a private company. This Google was created and Facebook uh, was created by our intelligence agencies, Facebook, Central Intelligence Agency, 
and DARPA, the Department of Defense, Google, ties to our intelligence agencies. So does Microsoft. Why do you think? Why do you think our government has easy access, back doors to all of our computers? These people that you think uh, founded Facebook like Zuckerberg or Google like um, Sergey, um, wow, I just forgot his last name, Larry Page, funded by CIA, NQTEL, and many of the front companies established by NQTEL to get all of this started. So Eric Schmidt has visited Trump several times in the White House, at least twice that I know of. Eric Schmidt has come out and said he is, um, he approves of the government taking over 5G. Don't separate out these companies from our government. So, um, it's not so alarming. I just wonder if what they are doing is uh, bringing now to the American people more and more reality of how much this country has changed. And the sewing division, the political dissonance, I have posted videos on 5G. What makes 5G very concerning, and it's not because our government might be taking it over. Our government, it's military waves. Our government is behind 5G. Our military is behind 5G. 5G will allow them greater surveillance of our bodies and into our homes high resolution surveillance. So as you're walking around the streets, those cell antennas, the 5G millimeter waves coming from them, they will be able to see everything in your pocketbook, in your briefcase, on your person. Are you carrying a gun? You won't be able to hide a thing, nothing, not even a plastic gun because 5G millimeter waves pick that all up and that is why they are rolling out 5G and that is why it is a national security priority for Trump. So I hope I made sense. I'm having difficulty with the technology that we already have and my brain is shot.